the real reincarnation. Let's just mention that. Spheres up until the seventh, and then there's the eighth, and then there's lots up there. Let's call it the twenty-second sphere. Is it there? The real reincarnation only can occur from that location. When the soul reaches its soul union state, it's actually together again. When it's together, it now is able to reincarnate. Until that time, the soul, the half of the soul, is encased in a spirit body form. And a spirit body form cannot reincarnate. It's that simple. It's like trying to stuff a spirit body into another spirit body. Because remember, when you are born, two bodies are created. Spirit body, and there's a physical body. Right? Physical body. Or material body. Now, the soul, the half of the soul is attached to that. Now, when it passes, the half of the soul is still attached to the spirit body. And that remains until the 21st sphere state to the state pre the union state. And once the union occurs, now the soul is able to reincarnate. It's able to have a connection to other bodies, if you like, at that state. Now, until you reach that state, you will never be able to reincarnate. And when you think about it, it's quite beautiful because it means that nobody can reincarnate who can damage people on earth. Even more. Can you see that? Because by the time you're in this state, you are in such a condition of love, you're at one with God, how could you damage anybody on earth anymore? Can you see yeah. that? And that's the state where you can reincarnate. The process of reincarnation draws emotions from your parents which then get reimpressed upon you which of course are going to cause pain within you <laughs> of course after that point you know but at the point of incarnate reincarnation what i'm saying is the soul is in such a pristine state that it can't damage anything whereas if people were here on earth now imagine if the murderer reincarnated what would he do he would go ahead and murder some more would he not you know, imagine the chaos that would happen on earth when you've got all of these spirits who are in terrible conditions wanting to reincarnate. Can you see it would be a major chaos? Much more than what it looks like at the moment. That's the truth of reincarnation. You don't have to believe it, of course, but that is the truth of reincarnation. And it is loving. It's loving because this soul chooses through free will to reincarnate for only one reason. And that's to live love. Right? Again on the earth. There are other loving things about that teaching. One is that we can progress in the spirit world. So every spirit who is here listening to us today needs to understand the truth. And that is they can progress through the spirit world into better conditions of love and more happier states without returning to earth. They do not have to return to earth to clear away what they call their karma or their errors or their things that they did wrong. They don't have to do that. And in fact, it's great that they don't have to do that when you think about it. All they need to do is get some help from somebody in a higher place and they will be helped to deal with all their emotions. It's a beautiful thing, really, when you think about it. So what's happening is you have this consistent help from the spheres above to the spheres below to help people and we've got this consistent help too available to us on earth to deal with all of the stuff that we're living through on earth. And all we need to do is avail ourselves of it. We just need to allow ourselves to actually connect with this help. All of us get helped. Does any of this change, AJ, after 2012? Is that another myth that's been stowed upon us? None, God doesn't, the universe doesn't change to man's timetables for a start. The 2012 things, there are changes occurring on earth, of course, with the reincarnation beginning in like 1962 and so forth. There are changes that are going to occur on earth 
as a result of all of these things, which will make everyone far more aware of this. You are a part of these changes, right? Just you learning truth means that you can then teach truth, you can live truth, and that will cause huge change around you, right? So this change will result from the truth being known here on earth. The problem is, is for many years, for, for, for thousands of years now, the truth hasn't been really known on earth. And so therefore we've got this problem where falsehood continues to get taught over and over again. Now the truth is known on earth again. It can be used and utilised as a method of progressing and growing and changing and the earth will change the result. There are metaphysical things allocated with 2012. There are mathematical things allocated with that, that spirits in the sixth sphere in particular are very interested in. But if you focus on the soul stuff, you'll find that you'll far exceed the development of those spirits and far exceed their understanding. 